Hello again guys, uh, decided that <laughs> since we finished our bad weather adventure so soon that I was going to start up something else that was a little more unique. Uh, this is called uh, Ant Farm of Doom, I believe the name of it is. And basically it's this little box that's kind of like an ant farm, as you can see as we spawn in here. And it acts kind of like, well, an ant farm. Um, it is a survival map. It does have some challenges uh, to it, as well as, you know, just basic survival. And what you're seeing right now are tiny cows and sheep. Uh, that's a mod I actually have installed that I'll put a link in the description to. See, so you got a tiny sheep, a little baby sheep, and a big sheep. I think there can be giant sheep as well. I'm not sure about that. I've seen a big cow. I mean a huge cow, like three blocks high. Thank you. And, uh, let's see. Ooh, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, you're pretty much stuck here. Because there's the void outside this uh, little ant farm here. But that is a pretty neat sight to take in. Like, wow. There's like all kinds of little waterfalls and stuff. And then we've got this little, uh, what was it? One, two, three, four, five. We got this little five. Why a place to call our home? Um, it is going to make living interesting. Speaking of living, uh, I think I'm still on peaceful from bad weather. Let me go ahead and flick that back. Oh, nope, I'm on normal. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, fighting monsters, particularly creepers. Creepers are going to be annoying in this place because uh, if they blow... Whoa. Okay, it's just not rendered yet. I thought those were like floating islands. But yeah, creepers in this place are going to be, uh, well, they're going to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> put, t just to put it short, I mean, they're going to probably destroy a lot of stuff if we get in fights with them. And I'm not entirely looking forward to that. But while we're messing around, let's go ahead and get, ah, quit, cheap. Get away. While we're messing around, let's, uh, get up there and get that coal before we run out of, or not coal, uh, that tree before we run out of all of our daytime. And once I get this tree, I think I'm going to flatten this out some, because this is like way too steep on either side, for my liking. I, uh, yes, hello Mr. Pig, I, I don't want to play right now, go away. Little piggy. Wow, he moves pretty dang quick. <laughs> oh, the other thing I've installed is um, it's it's another thing that comes with this mod pack. It's uh, basically controllable weather. You can see I can make it rain outside if I want to. Maybe we can uh, see if mobs will spawn. And that's, you know, in addition to basic rain, so... Oh, look, Creeper. Uh, that was a, probably a bad idea. Oh, well. <laughs> Not much we can do about it now. But, uh, yeah, basically that comes in addition to normal rain, so... You can call it by clicking a key and it'll show up. Otherwise, it uh, acts as normal and rain has a certain amount of chance of spawning. Yeah, I think I'm going to build my first house out of wool, just because of so many sheep, and the f there's so many farm animals. I think I'm going to have to pa clean some of this out, I mean, get rid of a lot of this grass, because this is just... That's... Yeah, that's ridiculous. Alright, let's flatten this out some. Go 
can play with the creeper. Put our inventory here. I, I do want to save one of these. I want to make sure that I don't accidentally turn that in the wood. Because I'm going to need a little bit of coal. Oh, and if you're unfamiliar with it, um, Notch added in something called charcoal, which is basically... Oh, cool. He'll take care of the sheep for us. Which is basically... Um, it acts exactly like coal. Except you make it out of wood. Not wood planks like these, but actual wood. And it's a very easy way to get started if you uh, have trees nearby and you can't necessarily find coal. Like right now, I'm more worried about aesthetic things than I am about uh, finding our first batch of coal, so that, that'll come in. We're setting up a little blockade to keep all manner of evil things away from us. Hmm. I don't want to go all the way down. I do want to want this kind of this come down in an angle. How far down are we on this side? Let's see here. From here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten to the sand. I think we'll go up five. So, one, two, three. Wow. Four, five. And we'll call this. This is where we're going to want to put our stuff. So, I'll put this in. Put a bull there. Two wolfies. That. Wow. Well, it seems like you can pretty much get anything in here because you got two squid over that way. There were squids that spawned over this way. And Mr. Creeper appears to have disappeared. Hmm. Well, hopefully he's not hiding on us. Sun setting. I'm gonna have to get some stones so I can get uh, some torches up because it's gonna get really dark here soon. All right, set our workbench and make ourselves a. Wooden pickaxe. Three. There we go. And this is supposed to go all the way down to the bedrock. So I'm wondering how the heck are we supposed to? I mean, are we supposed to leave this little place? Because he was talking about there were kind of secrets and stuff around the outside and that it was okay to get out of here to take pictures of your creations and that kind of thing, so... But I don't have a fly mod, so getting out of here would be interesting. Oh well, we'll deal with that when the time comes. For now... Make a furnace. Put that bad boy down. And make wood. Two sticks equals one use, and uh, in the furnace. So that'll basically that'll give us our charcoal. There we go. Might as well just make some more sticks because I've got enough stone for a stone pickaxe. And there's four torches. Four torches isn't a lot. But it's better than nothing. And that is a tiny spider. Oops. Turn view distance down. There we go. That is a tiny spider. Hmm. So I guess... Oh, crap. Wow, you are a very bad shot, bro. Just saying. Go away. That skeleton is a horrible shot. <laughs> okay, let's um, yeah, let's do this before more stuff spawns. Ow! Oh, you little bull! This isn't good. 
Oh, he got under the bricks. <laughs> okay, this mod is coming back to bite me in the ass. Wait, where am I respawning? Um, huh? Why did I respawn out here? He must not have changed the respawn. <laughs> okay. Alright, well. <sighs> okay, so now that I know that you have to, um. <laughs> you you kind of have to get your stuff going ASAP. Uh. Yeah. I I'm gonna make a bed and a house first off, because that was kind of. Yeah, that was a new experience. I didn't know that the mobs were gonna be tiny like that, too. And I also didn't know they were going to be able to sneak through one by one blocks either, because... Yeah, that's going to add... A, that's a kind of a game changer there. Alright, we can't mess around this time. Um, we'll just start... We'll just start it out down here instead of bothering with that, so... We'll do the same thing we did last time. One, two... Three, four, move Mr. Giant Sheep, five. Put that there. Go see if we can find more sheepies. Uh, let that deteriorate. Plant one right there. One there. Ow. And there's a sheepy. Hey, Mr. Sheepy. Mr. Q's like Xbox. Oh, squids. Oh, he gave us three ink. Might as well grab this while we're over here. There we go. Alright, two. I need one more for a bed. Because, yeah, that's the only way we're going to be able to keep our spawn point over here. There's one. Hey, Mr. Sheepy. Oh, two sheepies. Light gray wool. Hmm. Chicken, tiny cow. Tiny cow is tiny. Okay, well the rest of our house is going to have to be built out of dirt. Because I don't have enough wool to make the thing. And you guys are really annoying. I mean like, really annoying. Okay. Freaking farm animals, man. Go away, please. Thank you. Right. Put that up. Stay away from my house. Okay. Um. Dig this out. Might as well have this awesome view. I mean, right? Might as well. It's part of the scenery. Okay, that and there's no way that I'm gonna leave the front door open with um, demon skeletons like the one we ran into running around. See, look, little cow can get up in here. No cows allowed. Hmm, looks like they die quicker too. Be good for now. Let's see, 
foot. Eh, we'll save two this time. There we go. Our crafting table. Um, let's put it in that corner. Away from the stone that we're probably we're gonna be digging up here in a second. Got our wooden pickaxe. Now we can get to work. Yeah, those the, the farm animal sounds are really gonna drive me bonkers. Might as well harvest this, cause I'm not gonna have under my house or the floors of my house be dirt. That's just that's horrible for <laughs> wildlife infestation. I wonder if there are any caves in this thing. That would be interesting. Okay, that should be enough for a furnace. There we go. And we'll just put our furnace down here. Can't remember what the ratio is for stick to, um, like, how long, uh, uh, we'll find out, I guess. See how long a wooden plank burns. Can't remember if it's two uses or four. Hopefully that's enough. Nope. Uh, now I'm gonna have to waste a stick. <laughs> Wasting resources is not really a good idea. There we go. Uh, just put one there, one there, and one there. There we go. Make... Oh, face palm. I'm going to take a wild guess that none of our trees have grown. <laughs> oh well. I guess we'll just dig around in the house for a while. See, and that's why you can't have your door open. Cows get in. Bad cow. Yes, you. Uh, cheapskate didn't give any leather. Make ourselves another set of torches. There we go. I mean, we got enough light for now. Man, that is such a cool... I keep hitting uh, view distance by accident. There we go, I think that's max. Oh well, we'll just set it like this. Let's see. Yeah. Yep, that is on far, okay. Since it's supposed to be on very far. Nope, far. Hmm. Wonder why the stuff isn't rendering. Oh well. Still a pretty awesome uh, sight to see. Oh, 
skeletons are out. Man, and the farm animals are still going at it. Come on, it's night time. Go to bed. Go to sleep. Stop making noise. Oh, there it goes. Lava's rendering in the distance. You can see that smooth lighting at work compared to the old blockiness. Okay. Exit is right there, I believe. Yeah, that's where the exit is, so. I'm gonna wanna have a floor. Let's see. Three high, so we're gonna have the floor where the furnace is. There we go. Three down, put our torches in the middle. Guess we'll call that the living room area and we'll make this our work area. I don't know if I want to put the ladder centered. Maybe against the wall? Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll put him against the wall. I think I'll alternate them back and forth. Like have this come down and then we'll put the next one in over here. Like that. Ooh, coal. Nice. Okay. Got nine sticks. Oh, and they changed ladders around as well. Ladders now. Uh, let me make a pick first. Make sure I got enough for that. But yeah, they've changed ladders around to where... Instead of getting the normal... One, you get two from it. But the other change they made to it was... Uh, how you used to be able to paste ladders at, at, like out. You can't do that anymore. Like, uh, for instance, if I put a ladder there. See how weird it acts? You can't just, like, walk into it anymore. You have to literally jump to get up there on top of it. It's, uh, weird. Like, so you can't continue. You have to jump. Either way, not that big of a deal. You can still save one ladder by setting that up. And then just jumping when you get to the top. It's kind of interesting. Get this coal. Ooh, and iron. That was a creeper. Getting out of the house in the morning is gonna suck. Got 
got all the coal, I think. Wow, 20 pieces of coal. Didn't even notice we were picking up that much. Holy. Oh well. Fill this back in so we don't have any baddies spawn. Didn't grab the iron. all of that. Do the same thing over here. Especially since they can spawn one high now apparently. Yeah. Don't want that don't want any uh mini creepers appearing magically in our base. And having a what the hell, where did it come from moment? Sun's rising. Bring our workbench downstairs. I think I might make my bedroom up as well so I can overlook this stuff. And have an easier way of getting out of here without getting blown to smithereens. I think a mod might be pretty much uh, mandatory on a map like this for creeper explosions. Just to blow you to hell and not blow everything else up. I'm kind of scared to look out there. Oh. Ow. Doopy doo, doopy doopy doo. They gonna die? There it goes. Yep. Kind of figured that. That's why I kept building. <laughs> God, there's three creepers. Holy crap, that is a huge zombie. There's a little one down there jumping around too. Alright. Let's slowly drop down here and deal with Mr. Penis. Hi, Mr. Penis. Yes, I'm going to hit you in the face with a pick. Is that okay? Come here. No, don't just sit there and stare at me. No one likes a creeper. Come on. Alright, let's whack him again. Come on. Alright, that's one, that's one Mr. Penis dealt with. So I can, can drop down on him. Two Mr. Penises. Okay. Get anything over here? Yes, there's a creeper down that way. Alright, well, I don't think he can get up here unless he takes the stairs and we'll fix that problem like that. Hi, Mr. Penis. Yes. Come here. You're not funny. And now you're dead. Now we collect all the free stuff. That's one of the downsides to having a uh, wolfie on this map, I think. Is having a creeper to go with it. Does not spell good things for... <laughs> well, everything. Anyways, now that day and night cycles over, and we have cleaned house, and Mr. Pig is stuck in the wall. Go, go. Oh, looks like it's gonna rain. Maybe? Go on, Mr. Pig. Fly to your doom. Oh, there's a wolfie. I heard him. Where you at? Mr. Wolfie! Haha! -ha. Oh, nope, he's still. Alright, well, there's plenty of bones and stuff over here, so. 
attract Mr. Creeper's attention and deal with him the same way. Come here. Yeah. This is what you do when you don't have a sword. You, uh, use dirty tactics. Okay, got more bones. Let's see if we can tame the wolfie. We also got our tree there that grew. Nah, no more trip jumps. Just go straight up there. Move, cow. Okay. Oh. Is he ours? Nope. Wow, he's taking a lot of bones to tame. I don't have any more bones. Why are you being so difficult? Oh well. Uh, holy. That's a big tree. Maybe I'll make my house in the tree. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, cut down a bit of this tree. I think that's why I heard burning for so long. Oh well. Um... I'm gonna call this session for now. Uh, next time, maybe we'll actually be able to tame Mr. Wolfie. And, uh. Yeah. Pig in glass wall, salute you. Till next time, guys.